I call this one the night time's journey. Because at this particular time, the darkness carries itself motionally until the daytime sets in. Do you notice there are so fewer out at nighttime than in the daytime? And that is because those folks find that they need to be without any other alternative. But the many folks that are not out during the nighttime's journey are at home in bed I am not one of those folks. There doesn't appear to be any terrifying, menacing creature out and about on this particular nighttime journey. Unless you think of me that way. I know. Many probably do because I am not one of those who are at home in bed. Some might say you have no business being out during the nighttime's journey. But I do find a type of solitude and comfort during the nighttime surround in every direction. There are those that might call me strange for that. And I must say, I find that disagreeable. The night times journey courses its way through and people must deal with that because there is no other choice. Does the nighttime's journey hold us prisoner or captive? Only if your perspective viewpoint tells you it does. Actually, there is more freedom in the nighttime's journey than on any clearest day. Because there are only few that would be bold and brave enough to bother you, deemed of strangeness and mystery on the nighttime journey, especially if you are out and about at that time. There are people that hurry about in light and heavy traffic 
just to get away from the nighttime's journey. And they try to reach the safe comfort of their homes because they deem the nighttime's journey not so friendly and comforting. And they are entitled to their beliefs.